So today we're going to be putting the 2021 and the 2022 Tesla Model 3 side by side and doing a head to head acceleration test. Now Tesla lists the 0 to 100 acceleration for the 2021 model at 5.6 seconds and for the 2022 at 6.1 seconds. So the acceleration difference comes down to the different motors used between these two models. The 2021 model here has the more powerful 3D6 motor versus the 3D7 motor used in the 2022 model. Now that's not the only difference between these two models. If you'd like to see a detailed side by side comparison, you can check out my previous video video right here. Now to ensure that the comparison is as fair as possible, we will be conducting three separate tests for each of the cars and averaging out the time differences. And to ensure that there's no difference in the driving style, I will be conducting both these tests by myself. So it will be how I drive the car. And to ensure that there's no significant power differences between these two cars, we have ensured that both these tests are conducted at the same battery percentage of 71%. To measure the acceleration differences, we will be using the Draggy GPS performance meter. Now this is commonly used by car enthusiasts to reliably measure the results. Now I bought this unit myself but if you're interested in getting one yourself I'll leave the links in the description below where you can use the code EVKIVIS to get better for discount. So let's jump right to the acceleration test. So as you saw from those results, the average 0 to 100 time for the 2021 model was 6.05 seconds versus the 6.5 seconds of the 2022 model. Now these numbers are consistent with the advertised difference of 0.5 seconds between the two models. But you might be wondering, why is there a difference between the advertised speeds? Well that comes down to the fact that Tesla obviously conducts these tests in a much more controlled environment than what we could replicate here today. But at least this gives you a way better perspective of how both these cars perform in the real world. Now numbers aside, let's talk about how I really felt about driving these two cars side by side. While the 2021 model definitely felt much faster off launch, so the initial 0 to 30 speed was much faster than the 2022 model. But make no mistake, as the 2022 model isn't much slower, and I probably only really felt the difference because I was comparing them side by side, which let's be honest, most of you won't do in real life. Now, even though these are some of the slowest cars available from Tesla, thanks to the instant torque that you get in EVs, they still feel plenty fast. Now, another thing I noticed was that the electric whine coming from the model in the 2021 model was not noticeably louder than the 2022 model. And this was just in conducting this acceleration test when you're flooring that car. During day-to-day -day driving, I haven't noticed this motor noise at all. And of course, with music playing, it's far less noticeable. So that's gonna round up this acceleration video. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Dhruv, and until next time, stay charged.